Hello friends, my name is Ramsu. Today we shall discuss about topic the Gantt chart. Friend, today's topic is very very interesting, especially if you have interest in project management and you want to learn about it. So let's start, friend. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that my videos can reach to you and also you can follow me on the Facebook page as well. Friend, Gantt chart is basically a project management tool which is a very famous and a most popular tool to show the activities activities means task or events displayed against the time okay on the left side of the chart is a list of the activities and along the top is suitable time scale each activity is represented by a bar for example if you just see here on the left side here is the name of the task for example these are the task list then the duration and start date end date and here is the basically uh, the representation of each task in terms of in terms of bar we are representing the task with using the uh, with using the bar for example it is representing you that uh, how much time will take each task and what are the dependency of each task on another okay for example when this task will finish then this task will start after then this task will finish then this will start and then this will start, finish then this will start so uh, basically in simple way uh, friend just try to understand in a simple manner that the GAN chart is basically representation of your task with respect to the timeline and uh, with a graphical representation of a bar bar means these are the bars uh, which represents you here is the for example uh, calendar dates here okay like for example friday saturday sunday monday tuesday okay so these are the representation of your task with respect to the timeline bars so it is a very simple way very famous way to represent the task in a gantt chart so that we can have an idea that on which dates the tasks are starting and on which date they are finishing so uh, basically gantt charts tells you about the various activities activities mean task in a project it also tells you that when each activity is starting and when it is going to finish how long each activity is scheduled to last and where activities overlap with other activities and by how much and the starting and ending date of the whole project so can chart is a very uh, simple way to represent the uh, represent the project in terms of timeline with a graphical representation of a bar chart okay so these are very important whenever we are discussing with the management the timelines of each bar chart gantt chart uh, gantt charts benefits uh, for example the gantt charts are very important the most important uh, benefit of a gantt chart is that it identifies the task that may be executed in a parallel okay uh, you can notice that for example uh, for just take an example vision and strategy and company in cooperation initial funding these are the two tasks so you can notice that these two tasks are in uh, independent and these can be run in parallel okay so you can notice uh, that these tasks are in parallel can be done so a uh, first advantage of a bar uh, gain chart is that that you can identify the tasks which are not uh, interdependent on e each other and they can be executed in uh, in the parallel it can help detect potential bottlenecks and identify tasks that may have been excluded from the project timelines the chart depicts things like task slack time <coughs> slack time means friend that uh, the activity which can be delayed but the overall project will not be delayed so this is called the concept of a slack time so additional time for completion of tasks that shouldn't delay the project non critical activities that may be delayed and critical activities that may be executed on time is the concept of a basically friend uh, critical path is that uh, it can uh, can chart tells you about the activities which can be delayed so the overall project will be delayed okay for example let me give an example here if that activity market research 2 will be delayed so obviously uh, the other activities will also be delayed okay uh, detailed cash flow profit and loss will be delayed so other activities the dependent activities will also be delayed and the project timeline will also be delayed so activities which are uh, delayed 
so, and the project timeline will also be delayed which are called as critical activities and the activities which can be delayed but the project timeline will not be delayed are called as non-critical activities so can chart is very beneficial to understand the dependencies among the activities to identify the select time to identify the activities which can be done in parallel which can be done in sequential way and also it can be uh, used to identify the critical and non-critical activities so can chart is basically simple way to represent the activities task okay on the left side and the uh, representation of a task in terms of bar with respect to the calendar uh, dates uh, this is called as the basic concept of the uh, GAN chart. Normally, we use GAN chart to represent the project timelines uh, to discuss with the senior management so that they can have a uh, overall view of the project that when it is going to start, when it's going to finish and what are the dependencies of different activities on each other. So friend, I thank you. Thanks a lot for uh, watching the video. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video.